and gentlemen, happy Thursday. It's March the 26th, 2020. Um, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day today again. So hopefully let's get our work finished so we can get outside and run around. I know yesterday was great. It just felt so good to be outside. And sunshine always helps things, especially when you aren't feeling that the best, right? Sunshine, getting outside, running around, fresh air. Please make sure that you are doing that, okay? Getting fresh air, getting outside in the sun. It just really helps make things better. I apologize right now if you hear my sons. They're having a rough morning to start with, but uh, hopefully they won't interrupt us. Um, so today we are going to talk about decoding words. Yesterday we did three syllable words, and some of you that sent those to me, that you did a good job with decoding those. If you're not sending me things, please start sending me these. These are things that we would be doing in class, so I am looking at them, okay? And I am talking with your teachers. So please just try to send these to me, okay? I know you guys got a lot on your plate right now. I understand that. I'm here for you if you need me. If you need me to look at stuff, we can always video chat online and I can help you with work that way. Um, but I'm here for you if you need me. So please reach out to me too. I know sometimes your teachers have 20 other kids to be working with um, when you're in your group chats and things like that. So if you need help and they're helping somebody else or what have you, I'm here too. I can help you. Okay, so remember that, okay? Um, so today our target is I can identify NG and NK, those sounds and words, so that I can read and write words. So when we're decoding, we kind of have to remember that NG and NK, they stay together, okay? They're a sound together. So when we decode, we have to remember that. So let's look at these on this side. What's the first rule when we're decoding words? We find the vowels, right? I'm going to get my red. I thought I had my red. That way it sticks out a little better. So A and E. Now I draw my bridge. Right? What's on the bridge? N, K, and L. Well, N, K stays together. So remember our rules? For now, N, K stays together. So really, this would be a vowel. This would be one considered like a consonant. This is the other consonant. So we're going to split it right there because NK stays together. So this would look like this. Anklet. An anklet is like a bracelet that people wear around their ankle. An anklet. Excuse me. All right. Let's look at the next one. Find my vowels. Draw my bridge. What's on my bridge? N, K, and L. And we know what? That N, K stays together and L. So we have a vowel, a consonant, a consonant, and a vowel. So we're going to split it here. And so now we have two syllables. We have Frank, Lynn. Kind of like Benjamin Franklin. He invented bifocal glasses. Okay, find the next one. Mustang, Mustang, a type of horse, Mustang, or it could be a type of car made by Ford, a Ford Mustang. Okay, and the last one, we have the A and the U, draw your bridge. Okay, now what do you see? On the bridge, you have NK and an R. And we know that NG and NK, they stay together as one sound, right? They stay together. So we're going to split it right here. So now we have two syllables. We have bank, rupt. When you have no money, you've gone bankrupt. When stores run out of money, they've gone bankrupt. Okay? So remember that NG and NK stay together when you're decoding words. Now, here are the three words that I want you to decode to me. Okay? You can send these to me. I want you to look them up, too. Use them in a sentence for me also. Right? I know that this one's pretty easy. I know that you probably know what this one is already. But the other two, you might not know what they mean. So, let's not just decode them. Let's also use them in a sentence so I know that you know what they mean. Okay? Take that extra step. Add some rigor there. The next step that's rigorous, right? 
So not only are you decoding them, you're learning what they mean too, okay? So decode these three and use them in a sentence and send them to me, okay? Remember our learning terms, NG and NK stay together. So when you're reading words, we put those together, all right? All right, I'll be looking for you guys to send these to me, all right? I'll let you go for today. It's so nice outside. Get your work finished and get outside to play. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.